Well, anytime you lift your Bronco, you're actually gonna see your axle move towards the driver's side. So there's gonna be more tires sticking out of the fender. And that's where you need an adjustable track bar. What's up guys, Monster Mike with the Bronco Garage and today we're going to talk about the adjustable track bar. Now the one I've got here in front of me is a really nice piece that has up to three inches of adjustability. Uh, this is good for a uh, early Bronco with all the way up to about six inches of lift. The other thing I really like about this piece is it comes black powder coated and it's got poly ends. The other thing that I like about this track bar is it uses really nice material called DOM, not seam welded, which is half the strength. This is one and a half inches in diameter and it's a really beefy wall, three sixteenths. A uh, really nice piece that can withstand a lot of abuse. Now I've got a bare one here to show you some of the cool features about this track bar. As you'll notice, it doesn't use crimped ends. The crushing of a crimped end is actually weaker where this one's tapered down with a machined fitting and then 100% TIG welded. In fact, this is the only track bar that's proven in Baja. It's no surprise that this is 100% made right here in the USA. Now to install this, it's quite simple. You have to go to your frame and there's a mount for your track bar, the upper track bar mount. You're going to remove the nut off the end of the bolt, use a hammer and a screwdriver and pop the bolt out of the hole. Then that will release it from the frame. From there, you'll go down to the axle, follow the track bar down and you'll find a big nut. Take that nut off and then literally slides off. Reinstallation is quite literally just the opposite of, of taking it out. However, you do need to make sure you recenter your Bronco over the axle. Once you have your adjustable track bar in place, make sure that you reinstall the nuts, torque them down, and put the cotter pins back in place. All right, so you guys just saw some footage of this Bronco getting a few extra parts put on that we didn't previously talk about. One of them is the track bar riser bracket. Now, the reason that this Bronco is getting that is it's gonna be more multi-purpose. It's not just gonna go out on the street or go to the car shows, it's also gonna go out wheeling. Now, why did we cho choose the riser bracket versus doing a drop track bar bracket at the frame? Well, quite simply, we wanna get the tie rod up and over the knuckle. In order to do that, you've gotta make sure that the track bar geometry follows the steering geometry. So we're gonna raise the track bar, then raise the steering, get everything up and out of the way so when we go wheeling, we don't damage or destroy any of the components in front of the axle. The reason why we're installing a riser bracket versus a drop track bar bracket is drop track bar brackets actually put a lot more pressure on the frame when you're out wheeling. So a riser bracket is far better because it can handle the abuse that the track bar is going to put on the vehicle and there's also a separate video to how to install the track bar riser bracket the second thing that you might have noticed that's different than a standard adjustable track bar is this piece here now this is a heavy duty track bar end it actually replaces the adjustable end that you would normally buy this part is a rugged three quarter inch heim and it comes with the adapters to drop it right into your early bronco you can also get it with a 5 8 bolt or take the sleeve completely out and go to a 3 quarter inch bolt. Why this is so important is if, you'll, if you end up driving your Bronco many miles every year, you'll find that your polyurethane bushings in your track bar start to wear out, especially the top one. It's a lot smaller than the bottom one and it wears out first. By replacing it with this piece, you'll have many, many years of long life and plus, this one can handle the abuse of off-roading or just general tomfoolery. As you can see, I've removed the adjustable end that comes with the track bar and replaced it with the heavy-duty one. It comes with a jam nut and it also has a, a sleeve that is pressed into the center. To go from there, I've got a heavy-duty track bar drop bracket for the frame of a 66 to 75, as well as a standard track bar drop bracket. You don't need these in order to mount this, but I'm gonna use these to show as an example. You wanna first put the sleeves on that are supplied with it. They're gonna slip over the sleeve that's pressed into the Heim. Then you wanna simply attach the lower end of your adjustable track bar to the axle. And then the other end is gonna slide into the track bar bracket at the frame. And then you're going to grab whichever bolt that you needed for your vehicle, this one being a 9 16 
from there you're going to slip another washer on and then you're going to use the supplied nylock nut. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below and we wanna see what you guys are doing. We'll catch you next time.